this video we're going to be taking a look at Han Solo for the Vintage Collection. This is a second attempt of his appearance from Return of the Jedi, more specifically on Endor. It's an okay action figure. I still don't think we're quite there to having the definitive Han Solo, uh, but this is certainly a huge upgrade compared to what we've gotten before. Uh, you might recall I have reviewed this guy on the channel before, the trench coat Han Solo, and this uh, particular figure has been circulating around since 2006, and you can see there is a huge difference between the two. Uh, so some of the things about this action figure that I don't think are quite there, uh, the likeness to Harrison Ford at some angles looks really good, uh, but he definitely has a little bit more of a forehead than he probably needs. I have seen some people where they actually uh, take the hair piece off, cut along the forehead there a little bit, and then put it back on. And it looks a little bit better, uh, but still it's not 100% perfect because it's not factory made. Uh, so hopefully if Hasbro does do another Han Solo at some point, hopefully we'll be getting a, a new Hope one here soon. Uh, perhaps they'll correct that. Um, I'm not really sure if Hasbro would just uh, reuse the same exact head again for other Han Solos that are uh, very similar. But we'll see. Only time will tell. Plus uh, another thing that a lot of people complain about is the cut in the abdomen here. And yeah, I can understand how that kind of destroys the aesthetic of the action figure. It's not the worst in the world because he has his jacket covering most of it, but it can be annoying. I understand that. And one thing that I will admit that is kind of annoying about this action figure that uh, I was actually kind of surprised about is that he doesn't have the rocker ankles at all. He just has the normal hinged, uh, the normal hinged ankles, which is uh, I think Han Solo would have benefited from having the rocker ankles. So still, there's some need for improvements, but we're about 90% there, I will say that. So here's the package, nice image of him in the indoor bunker there. Turn the Jedi, just labeled as Han Solo this time. And he is BC-281 there, and I have most of these reviewed on the channel now. Hunter is clone is. Might get the deluxe Tuscan Warrior at some point with the Massif and Weakway on, on the channel. Uh, Captain Hauser as Ballast. And now Han Solo, we're just missing these three basically. And Darth Vader I may get someday, but unfortunately production seems to be out for him now. So if I want him I'll have to spend like 30 plus dollars on eBay. So the hair sculpt is pretty good, that looks about accurate to Han Solo. And in the face, I would say that looks pretty close to Harrison Ford. Like I said, at some angles, it looks really good, spot on, but if you look at it like straight on, it's like, yeah, there's definitely something off about that. It's fascinating that Hasbro seems to have a hard time getting a lot of these main characters totally accurate. I'm not sure if that has something to do with the... Uh, likeness rights or anything like that, or Hasbro was just simply not good about getting uh, a lot of these characters 100% accurate. Some of them they knock out of the park. It's for his uh, long sleeve shirt here, it's pretty good. And his jacket's pretty good as well. Has a lot of pockets here. His holster and his belt, which is pretty good. Uh, interesting, the strap on his leg here is just molded into his trousers. Usually it's all one completely separate piece, not in this case. Pants are accurate, he does have the yellow stripes here, instead of the red ones. And his glossy boots here. So the articulation is pretty good, but like I mentioned about the ankles, it's not 100% there. Uh, the head's pretty good. Again, most of the positions you would want them in. It does have the hinge at the shoulders, as you can see. Then 90 degrees at the elbow. Uh, he does have hinged wrists. This one goes in and out. 
and swung those up and down. It's pretty good. And then he does have that crunch at the abdomen there. Then the uh, hinge hips, swivel thigh, and then hinge knees, and then hinged ankles. And there's one thing I really hope they do, is uh, do rocker ankles for Han Solo at some point. Weapons and accessories, he just has his traditional blaster pistol, which I think this is pretty much a repack of ones we've gotten before. Not much can really be said about it. Uh, but thankfully his finger does fit around the trigger there, which looks very good. As for fitting inside of his... Uh, holster. Yeah, it seems to fit pretty good. You can get them in a... Uh, it's about ready to draw if you want to do that. Shoulder articulation is a little ratchety though, so it's a little difficult. Yeah, totally perfect. And one thing I wanted to try is to see how this trench coat looks on him. I've seen some pictures out there of other people doing it. And you can definitely tell the huge difference between the Han Solo's there. Got about, ooh, what, 17 years difference? Let's see here. does seem like his trench coat does work for this update. It is a little bit tight for him though. But it's adequate. It's not perfect. It definitely could be a little bit bigger. very tight around the shoulders here and it probably could be just slightly longer it's pretty good I might display him like this every now and then Yeah, that's pretty much all I can tell you about this Han Solo. Very basic. Uh, it's a nice update. Would I recommend him for your collection? So I actually just got this guy on clearance, similar to a lot of the other figures I've been reviewing recently. Uh, every, occasionally I like going through and just doing large orders of a bunch of action figures on clearance. I think I only paid about $11 for him, which is pretty good. It's been one I've been hoping to add for a little while now, but... I just didn't want to spend $16.99 plus for him. I never have seen him at retail, and I think production's kind of going out, so... If you do want to add him for your collection, I would say you should jump on it sooner than later. Um, but I don't think the demand for this is too high, but still with production numbers being low, uh, you never know, down the road there could be a big demand for him. And I'm not sure if we're going to be getting uh, another Return of the Jedi Han Solo, at least anytime soon. So this might end up being the definitive uh, Han Solo. And of course, if we get a New Hope update, it might reutilize a lot of parts from this. Um, the new Best in Han Solo will be nice at some point, but who knows if Hasbro will get around to that. Only time will tell. Still, I'm very happy with this action figure. It's definitely one of the best Han Solo's we've gotten. Still not 100% perfect, but we're definitely much closer than we've ever been. And if Hasbro can just fix a few things here and there, mainly in the head, just maybe trim up that forehead a little bit, give them rocker ankles, and uh, maybe they can replace that cut there where uh, he has that crunch in the abdomen. 
do something a little bit different with that or at least make it more aesthetically pleasing I think we would have the perfect Han Solo the perfect likeness to uh, Harrison Ford but anyways that concludes this review I hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for plenty more reviews in the future there will always be more to come if you haven't already please like the video and subscribe to the channel I always appreciate all your support and check out some links in the description if you have not done so already. As always, thanks for watching.